Today, we're going to find out if the new Gerber Devour Multi Spork is the perfect one stop shop for all of your utensil needs, or if it has too many gimmicks to make sense in your outdoor adventures. <laughs> Well, hey folks, welcome to the backcountry out here in the outdoors today, uh, having a great time, really enjoying myself, about to hit the trail here in a few minutes, um, but uh, wanted to do something a little bit different and have my breakfast out in the outdoors. So it's about, I started cooking about 9 a.m., it's about 9.30 right now while I'm doing this, and uh, have been for about a month now, month and a half, daily, at least for one to two meals, using my Gerber um, Devour Multi-Spork. And use it uh, when I go to the office for my lunch meals, use it at the home. But today, I really wanna use it out here in the back country with you, use it with a de dehydrated meal right here. So we're gonna cook this, we're gonna use this, we're gonna break it down, talk about all the little aspects and little tools that it has, talk about price, talk about weight, and see if Gerber has produced something that really makes a lot of sense when you're in the back country, when you're hiking, backpacking or you're just hanging around the car you know car camping if this is a tool that for eating that is uh, worth it or it just you know has all these bells and whistles because it does have i think I, i'll annotate in how many tools i think it's like nine tools or something seven tools um on this thing is it just kind of like too much craziness trying to make something that is simple like a spork more complicated than it needs to be we're going to break all that down today and show you whether or not this is going to be a good tool for you to to take a look yeah. at and so um this is made with 7075 uh, t6 aluminum and uh this is going to weigh in at 0.83 ounces so less than an ounce for this entire setup everything you see here it's going to be 7.6 inches overall length and then the widest portion of the bowl itself there is going to be 1.6 inches now um what we're going to look at here first off is the multi-tool little piece right here this is a six piece multi-tool if you will held on by this rubberized gasket and so every time i ate when i was testing this out i took it off the gasket and then put it back on just to wear out that gasket a little bit see how the wear was and it's holding up good you can see here now at this point that there's a little bit of wobble right there but it's still seated very nicely there's a little gerber logo right there so you just pull that little guy off and that's the tool itself. Now, what I really like uh, about it for the most part right out of the gate is that it does have a can opener and that can opener worked well for this style. You know, you can find old school can openers like this. Is a hand crank ob obviously better? Yes, but it was able to open a can of tuna without any sort of trouble at all. That's a really nice little feature that you can open in cans that don't have pop tops. You forgot your can opener and you're out camping with your friends. Uh, you know, you're backpacking and you got a can of tuna or something and you're like, holy crap, Okay, now do I use my knife and jack up my knife? Oh, nope, I got my devour, and you punch through it real fast. So that's a good, nice feature. Uh, then it does have a bottle cap opener, so that's really nice. So that works fantastic, no real issues there. Uh, and then the main other thing for me that I really enjoyed with the tool itself is the little serrated teeth that we'll actually get to a little later when I cut through the packaging. Uh, that is a good little backup, so you just don't have to pull your knife out. Uh, to tear through, you know, basically packaging. Uh, that was the best point. Now there are other aspects to it as well. You can use it as like a filer or a, a nail puller. You can use it as a flathead screwdriver. I don't know who's gonna be pulling nails and screwing stuff down with this thing, but you could use it that way. Or the final piece of the puzzle is if you just wanna leave it on, you're not really gonna be using that. It does act as this little kickstand. Now at first I was like, that's a joke, right? I mean, that's a little gimmicky thing. But I know for myself, having been a backpacker for years, you're always looking for like a clean little spot to rest your spoon down when you're or your spork when you're working. So it definitely um, rises it up off of the dirty ground, which is a nice little feature there. But it also hooks really well to either your pots and pans that you might be cooking on or on your dehydrated meals. So it actually functions very well in that regard. Uh, as, as we get into it, just want to remind you guys always uh, that if this connects with you, you can take a look over at Blade HQ or Amazon. These are about $15, and we'll talk about value here in a little bit, um, over on both of those sites. Amazon, Blade HQ, that really helps us out when you guys use those hyperlinks. Don't forget about backcountry.com as well. I'm sure they'll be on there. If they're not already, they will be soon. Great stuff for the outdoors over there. That helps me get out there and buy stuff just like this. I went out, picked this guy up so I could see if it was valuable for myself and my systems in the outdoors when I'm eating and if it's going to be valuable for you. So, by the way, this uh, spicy Southwest hash, potatoes, shredded beef, green chili, black beans, and corn. 
That's some good stuff right there. Mm. You could have that for any meal of the day. Dinner or breakfast, lunch in between, whatever. So, so far very easy. It's good. And as I'm eating my breakfast, <clears throat> I'll just share a couple of basic things also and, and roll in some B-roll because we're going to get down to the bottom here in a minute to see if it will reach down and give me you know plenty of grip. So far it's working great, but we're not to the bottom yet. Um, so with the Devour, you've seen kind of some of the stuff with that little multi-tool that's attached. That's cool. Um, it's not necessarily like a necessity that I have to have, but it's nice that it's a can opener, you know, cutter um you know bottle cap opener so it's a very you know like car camping depending on how how aggressive you backpack maybe something you need maybe something you don't you could lose it and you know cut down on weight now the teeth i was kind of like eh, most sports you know really suck with like eating salads and vegetables and like hard stuff right not the case i have regularly eaten salads with this thing with zero issue the tongs actually stab like carrots and those harder things very easily, uh, bell peppers, you know, the hard crunchy stuff in a salad and still be able to get the finer stuff without much difficulty. I'm not sitting there like, if I don't feel like I'm working extra hard when I'm eating salads and those type of things. Obviously it's got a good enough cradle for most soups and you know liquids. If you're drinking, you know, that way, obviously any of these freeze dried meals would be fine. But the nice thing is that on the sides, it's sh sharp enough that it won't cut your mouth, but it will absolutely be able to cut like pancakes, waffles, breads of any kind, you know, if you're making some sort of like French toast, something like that easily, like without effort, better than a lot of even those like sawtooth side sporks. Um, and soft meats, fish and chicken, as long as the chicken isn't like rock hard, you should easily be able to do it. It's not gonna cut steak, obviously you'd want your pocket knife for that, um, <clears throat> or just some other type of utensil, but uh, your white meats, it can easily cut as long as they're, you know, good and tender and a, a, a enjoyable texture easily be able to do that and, and so i'm seeing that on the sense of versatility of being uh, not only able to eat harder vegetables and fruit and those type of things cut, it could easily cut out like a um uh watermelon um you know scoop out a watermelon any sort of like melon type of fruit um or melon i guess i guess they're not fruit you know what i mean um those type of things easily be able to cut that stuff uh and be able to stick and you know eat so in all those areas it's working better than a lot of like those polymer sporks that are out there all right so here's the moment of truth i'm going to go all the way down to the bottom we're going to see how much real estate i still have on the devour and whether or not it really makes sense to use it in this capacity and particularly with your dehydrated meals because if it's just going to be like at the very tip i might want to look elsewhere unless i don't really use dehydrated meals so with that let's go ahead and go down all the way to the bottom here just to show you i'm hitting the bottom right there okay well, we have about an inch, about an inch sticking up out of your dehydrated meal. So let's just kind of see how that works. You know, sometimes it can be really like heavy and sticky and you gotta have a good leverage to be able to pull out of the bag. Okay, so I'll be honest with you guys. For dehydrated meals, you're still gonna have to cut off. Now the nice thing is, let's do it right now. It has those serrated teeth. so that I can shorten it up as I go along. But then, you know, obviously I have more garbage. I could have zip blocked that up, you know, after I'm done eating it and carried it possibly even in my bag without much mess. Now I have kind of a messy problem here. There we go, that's a little better. I'll get real with you guys. I love every aspect to it, except for the dehydrated meal part. I would want, I would be looking for something that was like this much longer. If I got a whole extra inch on the devourer that would really sell it for me. As it stands right now, it still has a lot of value in a lot of different areas because of all of its capabilities. It's definitely stronger than say just your basic polymer, you know, spork, particularly from Light My Fire because I've just broken so many of those. Um, has all the little extra features that maybe that this little tool really help, like makes a lot of sense to you. It is ultra light and it can definitely stick stuff well. You know, the tongs, because they're metal or aluminum, <clears throat> whatever, uh, you know, they don't flex. So they're able to stick what you need. The polymer ones, they tend to flex. So if you're trying to stick a carrot or a harder piece of meat or something, and then you don't get a good grip, this doesn't flex. So if 
if five stars would be like mind blowing and it's a, and, and it was an extra, I would give it five stars if it was an extra inch. As it is right now, I'd say like three and a half. Has a lot of versatility, but for fifteen dollars, does that do you really need that in your cookware? And it would be better just to look for something that's longer, particularly if you're using this to eat a lot of dehydrated meals. So there you go, guys. Uh, just a little food for thought. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Showing you what this can do. Um, you know, for 15 bucks, so it's, it's a little, I mean, maybe if it was like 12 to 10, that would be a little better. Uh, but you know, I think the price is pretty close, particularly again, not polymer. And, uh, there is, there are pros and cons, positives and negatives to the design that I'm liking. So what it, is it a good option to have? Am I going to like sell it off or just give it away? No, I'm definitely going to keep it in my, my usefulness bin when I go cooking, when I go like either to the office, I'm just, you know, bringing my meal for the day or out here in the back country, depending on where I am and what I'm eating. Um, so yeah, that's me guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, all the social media. Make sure to hit that bell icon if you're a current subscriber. Just make sure the video is in, the, is in your news feed. If you're not a current subscriber, I invite you to uh, join us. Subscribe, become part of the GT family. Get all types of videos, all types of content like this every single week. So, love you guys. You're awesome. Stay equipped, stay prepared, enjoy your meals. I'll see you out there.